Alexander. I'm Freeze. We're back with another reaction video today. And today we're going to be doing uh, Rage Against the Machine, Killing in the Name of. The official music video. A very timely song, considering what's going on in our world right now. With all the protests and everything, and the government not doing a great job at containing COVID. Um, I'm guaranteed you've heard the song before. I may have heard it once or twice. If you listen to... The name sounds familiar, but we'll see. If you've heard uh, rock radio since... You know, the early 90s. Chances are you've heard it. I've definitely heard it. I love the song. And, yeah. So I think we'll just get into it then. I mean, it's, I like the guitar, I definitely like the guitar and the upbeat song. Do you recognize it at all? I, not yet. I'm gonna have to hear, I mean, get more into the it. The intro is pretty the intro. unique, especially the cowbell. Yeah, I, right now, it's not ringing a bell. more cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that bass line in the beginning was good too. Oh, uh, yeah. And then Tamarillo coming in on the guitar. Yeah, I really like this so far. And then we're about to hear Zach Del Roca sing. Or it's actually more rapping, but let's get into it. Killing in the name of Some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work forces. Oh, oh yes, I've heard you sing this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Same. With quotes there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes, I have heard that. <laughs> I've heard this one. <laughs> I love this song. It's a good song. It's Especially with what's going on. Yeah, this probably relates <laughs> by the name of it. You good? Yeah, I'm good. On the same bar crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that bar crosses. Some of those that work forces. Oh. So what do you think of his vocals so far? I mean, you can hear he has like a nice voice, obviously, because this is more metalish. It's more speak singing, you know, but I mean, I could tell that he probably could do other stuff if he wanted to. Like, he has a it's, nice tone. It feels like, to me, it feels like he's in that mixture of rap, rock, sing. Like, and, uh, uh like. Speak, I mean, rap on Yeah, it's speak, like speak like. singing, but you when he does like sing, you can hear that he does have a decent voice. Like, and he just chooses to. He just choo this is just his, his style. style. do what they told you. You do what they told ya. Now 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 you do what they told ya. Don't do that. It's obviously a political message, and I just love when people, right wingers, um, first realize that they're like, "Wait, why are you guys talking about politics in your music?" Like, they specifically, specifically talk to Tom Morello, the guitarist. 
and he's like graduated from like I believe it's Harvard with honors in political science, and they're like yelling at him to stay out of politics. <laughs> but he's a political science major. And it's like the band was called Rage Against the Machine. What machine do you think they were raging against? Like that's true. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Some of those that work forces are the same that brought crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that brought crosses. Some of those that work forces are the same that brought crosses. Killing in the name of. Do what they told you. Now you 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 do what they told you. composing overall like they're both just amazing at what they do like that would be an interesting mashup it would probably never happen but it would be an interesting mashup should Tom Morello do a song with Nightwish that would be interesting to see he's he just knows what he's doing on that guitar he does like I was about to say that guitar solo is insane it's <laughs> a pretty iconic too oh that's really good Um, yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, there was a lot about police violence, like, 
and like, uh, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. And that's to the cop. Just, it's really sad. We're still fighting, having this fight all these years later. I think that was like 94 was the Rodney King beating in the LA riots. 94. They were in 2020. And we're still dealing with almost 30 years later and we're dealing with the yeah. same crap. That's just messed up. I mean, it's sad that it's still like this. Like, I hate, I would hate them feel like, hey, you know, Zach De La Roca or Tamarello. I mean, I know Tamarello is pretty uh, vocal about his political opinion now, especially now, but like, if we were to go back and talk to them back when they wrote this song, and be like, hey, in 2020, we're still dealing with the exact same shit you were talking about back then, like right now. What do you think about that? I think they would not believe us, like, or well, maybe they would. They probably would, because it's such an institutional thing. Yeah. And those who die are justified. Uh, you're the chosen white. I mean, you got the people you killed. You killed the person who's justified, because you're the chosen white. You're a cop. So, it's just sad that we're still dealing with this now. Uh, where do you get the song? Um, let's see. I give a song... An eight. I gotta give it a nine and a half, mainly because of the lyrics, like what the song is about, because it's a very important message then and now. And we will leave links in the description uh, for like how you can help with the uh, BLM protest, like uh, bail funds and stuff, because I think it's very important that people that are out peacefully protesting are able to get bailed out, especially now that. Um, we have federal police officers just randomly abducting people off the street. Yeah. So. Well, that's a change. Yeah. So that's our video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.